these different verbs. I'm going to show you a picture of somebody. Okay, so this is um, David. David is a very rich and successful businessman, okay, in New York. And you can tell he's doing very well in his life because he's got this suit on and he's drink drinking whiskey in a car. So somebody is for him. Now, David is very successful and he likes to get people to help him. So he likes a lot of help in his life. He, he works long hours in his office and he's a successful business person. So it means that he doesn't have a lot of time to do other things. He has to get people or a lot of people help him um, help him in his life, like we said. Now, someone says this man is an alcoholic. No, he just likes a little bit of whiskey to work. But you can think about all the different things in his life that he has to do or if he gets help in his life. Now, you might hear people say stuff like this. I need to mow the grass, all right? I need to mow the grass. Or my wife says, we need to mow the grass. We need to mow the grass today. We need to mow the grass today. It's important. But if someone else mows the grass for you, you can say, you can use causative verbs. And causative verbs include verbs like have, let, make and get. For example, this is the first phrase I want to show with you today. I need to have the grass mowed by tomorrow. So you can imagine David here on the phone to his personal assistant and he says, I need the grass mowed by tomorrow. Now think of this a little bit like the passive voice. Because, look at this, mow the grass, mowed, the, or, or the grass mowed, the grass mowed. I need to have the grass mowed by tomorrow. So what we're doing here, we're using, I, um, I need to mow the grass, but instead we're saying, I have the, ma the grass mowed. So we use this a lot when we want someone to do something for us. Another example, you might hear people say, yesterday I cleaned my house. I cleaned my house. I spent six hours cleaning my house. I cleaned my house. Very simple. Now you can also say a cleaner cleaned my house. A cleaner cleaned my house. But in every, it's more common to hear in the past, I had my house cleaned or I have my house cleaned in general. I might just change that just to make it congruent. I had my house cleaned. So this is when someone does this for you. I had house cleaned. I had my house cleaned. Another example, the barber is cutting my hair next week. The barber is cutting my hair next week. Where we're using it, this in the active voice. It's very active. It's incredibly active voice. But this isn't that common. You say, I'm getting my hair cut. I'm getting my hair cut next week. So this is another example of a causative verb. It causes something to happen. I'm my hair cut next week. Now, this is a, just a, a separate thing about this one. We're using get in the continuous form because we're talking about something that is happening in the future. It's an appointment. When we get our hair cut, normally we arrange a time with, with the hairdresser to say, can I come in on Thursday at three? And they say, yes, yeah, sure. So you say, okay, it's in my diary. It's an appointment. I'm getting my hair cut next week or on Thursday at three. You can also say, I'm going to get my hair cut next week. If you don't have a specific time, I'm going to get my hair cut next week. This is a great example. Um, now, another example is this. This is a bit of more of a 
longer sentence where you say, can you make the cleaners do the bathrooms next time? So David speaks to, this is David. David speaks to his personal assistant and says, I wasn't happy about the bathroom. The cleaners didn't clean the bathroom. Can you make the cleaners do the bathrooms next time? Can you make the cleaners do the bathrooms next time? This is a really good example because it's quite a long sentence. Can you make the cleaners do the bathrooms next time? And we're using make as well here because it's a causative verb. All right. So, um, yeah, this is a great, um, great example of the causative verb. I'm going to give you some more examples. David also wants to go out with his wife. So he's on his way home. He's drinking his whiskey. I don't know if that's a, if that's legal in most states in America. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one. He's drinking whiskey in the back of the car, but he calls his wife and he says this. Can we have someone watch the kids tonight? Can we have someone watch the kids tonight? So we're using a causative verb have. The next verb is watch. And we, we've got someone in the middle, the, the object here. Because can we have someone watch the kids tonight? Which is great. But he says there's some rules for the babysitter. Don't let the kids watch TV. Don't let the kids watch TV. Now, you might see this as well as a verb pattern, where verb patterns could be, um, for example, I enjoy doing something. I stopped to, to do something. Don't let the kids watch TV. Don't let the kids watch TV. So this is a great example of this causative action where you're saying to the, the babysitter, okay, whatever you do, don't let the kids watch TV. They watch too much TV during the day. Don't let the kids watch TV. And the next one is um, a very simple one in everyday English that people say is, oh, I need to get the car fixed. I need to get the car fixed. Again, we're not focusing the um, we're not focusing on the person who is fixing the car. We're focusing on the action. I need to get the car fixed. I need to get the car fixed. You can say, I need to get my hair cut. I need to get my hair cut. I need to get the car fixed. So those are all causative verbs. I'm just going to go through them quickly again. We, I need to have the grass mowed by tomorrow. I had my house cleaned. I'm getting my hair cut next week. Can you make the cleaners do the bathrooms next time? Can we have someone watch the kids tonight? Don't let the kids watch TV. And I need to get the car fixed. Now, if you're watching live, leave some examples in the comment section. If you're watching this in the replay, then please leave them below. And then if you enjoy this, please like and share it with your friends.